China rejects President Rodrigo Duterte's suggestion of a third party in the Philippines-China joint investigation into the sinking of a Filipino boat by a Chinese ship. Presidential spokesman Salvador Panelo announces this Monday, July 1, from the report of Philippine Ambassador to China, Chito Santa Romana. Ang sabi naman nila, huwag na yung third party, kailangan tayo lang mag-usap doon. Para sa kanila, hindi na kailangan yun kasi kung magkakasundo na kayo, bakit pa kayo magta-third party? Yung nga naman. Panelo says the Philippines will still suggest a third party if the two parties fail to agree. Ay, hindi. Siguro, ipipilit na natin. Ay, hindi tayo nagkakasundo, mag-third party tayo. Senate President Vicente Soto III refiles the controversial bill lowering the age of criminal liability to above nine years old Monday, July 1. Senate Bill No. 5 seeks to amend Republic Act No. 9344 or the Juvenile Justice and Welfare Act of 2006. Pro-child groups and social workers oppose a lower age of criminal liability, saying a child's brain has not yet fully developed at adolescence. In the 17th Congress, the House of Representatives already approved the bill lowering the age of liability from 15 years old to 12, but the counterpart bill in the Senate is still pending. Former Senator Gringo Hunasan finally takes his oath of office as Information and Communications Technology Secretary Monday, July 1. Hunasan's appointment was formalized back in November 2018. At the time, his credentials to lead the DICT were questioned, specifically the seven years of competence and expertise in the information and communications technology field, which was imposed by law. Hunasan joins the growing list of former military men in the Duterte cabinet, which includes Social Welfare Secretary Rolando Bautista, Environment Secretary Roy Simatu, Interior Secretary Eduardo Año, National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon Jr. and Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana. Protesters smash windows of Hong Kong's Legislative Council Monday, July 1, trying to force their way into the building by ramming a metal cart through the glass doors. The protesters arm themselves with umbrellas and wear helmets and masks prepared for any encounter with authorities. Monday, July 1 is the anniversary of Hong Kong's handover to China. Protests gained momentum in late April against Chief Executive Carrie Lam's move to pass the Beijing back extradition law, but is now postponed following the huge public backlash. Demonstrations morphed into a wider movement against Lam's administration in Beijing as people fear the end of the city's freedoms and culture. Donald Trump stepped on North Korean soil in a historic first Sunday, June 30, as he met Pyongyang's leader Kim Jong-un. Moments after this historic event, Trump brought Kim back over the dividing line for a meeting, where they agreed to start working level talks on Pyongyang's nuclear weapons. Trump said he invited the young leader to the White House, while Kim said their handshake of peace showed the two are willing to put the past behind us. American pop star Taylor Swift accuses entertainment mogul Scooter Braun Monday, July 1 of manipulative bullying for years as he acquired the rights to her music after purchasing Big Machine Records. Big Machine Records is Taylor's former music label and owns the rights to her entire catalog from 2006's Taylor Swift to 2017's reputation. Swift writes in her Tumblr account, quote, Essentially, my musical legacy is about to lie in the hands of someone who tried to dismantle it. Swift has since signed with Universal Music Group and now owns the masters of all upcoming songs. Taylor Swift first rose to fame in the 2000s and has won several awards including Billboard Female Artist for the years 2018, 2015, and 2013 and Billboard Top Artist for the years 2013 and 2009.